In this screencast I'll show you how to use the flash drum unit operation. So come over to the right hand menu, click flash with a single click, come over to our flow sheet and then use a single click again to place the flash drum onto the flow sheet. Then we have to connect up some streams, so we need an input stream which connects to the red bar that was shown there, then we need an outlet stream for the vapour and an outlet stream for the liquid that we generated as well. This additional no nozzle can be used in other situations. For this example we're just going to have two output streams. Okay, now the units of measure have already been checked and put into SI units. We've already put in some components and I've already specified the thermodynamic method to be used. So we need to supply some input stream information. So we'll right click on this and then click data entry. And for this one, we're going to put in 500 k moles per hour of water, 500 k moles per hour of methanol. Click OK. And then the first specification on this stream is going to be that it's at atmospheric pressure. The second is that it's going to be at its bubble point. So that will mean that the temperature is automatically set by Pro2 to a level that, which means the stream is at its boiling point basically. So it's ready to start to produce vapour. We'll click OK there. Now we have to supply some information about the process conditions, how the flash drum is going to operate. We'll stick to the first specification being a pressure drop of zero kPascals, and then we'll specify a duty of 10 times 10 to the 6 kilojoules per hour. Product phases S2 is going to be vapor, S3 is going to be liquid. Click OK on all of that. The F1 label this flash drum has now gone black showing that we've supp supplied enough information the run button has now got black outline as well so all that remains is to click run this is now solved and we can have a look at some of the output streams so if we look at the data review window we can see that we've got 264 k moles per hour so that's about a quarter of the material is coming out the top as a vapour. And if we click on here to get the material balance, we can see that this stream has become enriched in methanol. It's now got a 0.744 mole fraction methanol. Whereas as the stream went in, the input stream was 0.5 mole fraction methanol. Okay, we can close that. Now if we go to stream S3 and review the data we can see that approximately three quarters of the material is coming out as liquid and that this stream has become slightly enriched in water. We can also run the flash drum in a slightly different operating mode. So for example if we look at the input stream and change the pressure to 7 bar, so 700 k pascals, and then change the flash drum operating conditions, we'll specify the duty to be zero, so there'll be zero heat being put into this, but we'll make the pressure drop 6 bar, so 600 k pascals. We'll click OK here. If we rerun the simulation, the flash drum is now operating without any heat input but we're flashing off vapour by the fact there's a pressure drop from stream 1 into the drum. If we review the results, we can see that the vapour stream S2 has still been enriched in methanol, but it has a lower flow rate now that it's just relying on this pressure drop. And correspondingly, stream S3, the liquid stream, is higher, there's 858 k moles per hour, 
um, but again it has been slightly enriched in water. So overall this is a couple of different ways of using a flash drum in Pro 2.